Hey YouTube, Ryan here from the Well Qualified Homestead. Sorry that I haven't really been posting any videos lately. I've been a little on the busy side, but I wanted to showcase something that I've been working on. Um, if you've watched anything on YouTube uh, about do-it-yourself incubators, I'm sure that you've seen this unit. Uh, very popular Caternix breeder YouTube channel, uh, Caternix Corner. This is, uh, this is his build. This is what he came up with, and so you might be wondering if you've seen this video like I was, is if I build, if I take the time and I spend the money to build this, is it actually going to perform the way that you need it to? And so what I've found is, um, so I built this, and let me, uh, let me go ahead and turn this to here. So I put my eggs in on the 17th uh, in the middle of the night because <laughs> I, I was impatient and I wanted to get the eggs in there. So basically this is powered by an Inkbird ITC 1000. Okay, this is the unit. This is gonna cost you maybe about $15 uh, on Amazon. I think, you know, I think I got this on sale for 15. I think maybe they're usually 20. Uh, I got my candler up here. So, so really what the question is, is um, if you do make this, is it gonna perform? So let's take a look in here. So I got my eggs in here and I got some lids for when they hatch. And then I'm not even doing a turner right now. I just go in and kind of move them around a little bit with my hand just to keep them, keep them moving. But so if we look at the temperature here, I mean, it's pretty much, it's pretty much spot on. So like where it says that the low is 89, that's from having the door open. But almost every time I open this up, it says 99.5, 99.7. Performs really well. So I have some bottles down here just to try to help regulate the temperature. Another bin of water back here for the humidity. And then, like I said, you can find Terry's video on Caternix Corner. But so this is the cold air intake, that hole back there. You got the lights up here with a computer fan back there. And this thing has been working great for me. I mean, I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, gotten any eggs hatched yet because like I said, I put them in on the 17th. But so then up here is where all the electronics are. I'm just, Get these all unscrewed here real quick. Okay. Okay, so basically what's going on up here. And so this is where all the wiring is. Got the lights here, wired in here. And then I have everything plugged in just to an extension cord. Uh, the candler, the computer fans, the computer fans here, this is the candler, and this is, uh, this is the ink bird. So you'll have to look up some uh, information on how to wire this all up if you're not familiar. But so, this build, and then I got, you know, I have these computer fans I just bought from Amazon. So on his video, he was... He used computer fans he actually had to attach a plug to. I just bought like USB powered uh, computer fans, put them in there. So basically this build, I don't know. I'm trying to think how much, how much am I in on this build for? So like this was 15, the eight by four sheet of, of uh, foam board was about 30 and then uh you're gonna need some foam board caulk i'm not 100 percent sure where it's laying around over here it's actually over here so you need you need some of this some of this pl 300 foam board caulk i need i needed two of those and they're about five or six dollars each and then uh i had to build the wood trays um to hold the eggs 
needed the uh, lights. So, like, I'm probably, I don't know, after adding it all up, the computer fan was like 12 bucks. After adding it all up, I'm probably in on this for, I don't know, about 80 bucks or maybe. 80 bucks, maybe 90. But, so the way this is made is that you can put a little giant uh, egg turner in here and it'll fit on these rails, okay? But I didn't do that. But, you know, so basically you can fit as many eggs in here as you can fit. I know he builds it as a 240. The way the reason he builds it that way is because you can fit two of the little giant egg turners in here that each hold 120. So you can put at least 240 eggs in here. And then like, yeah, I mean, and like so far it's working great. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video and uh, let everybody know that if you do take the time and the effort to build this, honestly, it uh, seems like it will work well for you. Uh, I'll try to report back in when... I get some, uh, when I get some birds hatching in here, but as of right now, this thing is working really, really, really well, and I couldn't be happier with it. Uh, it wasn't too hard to build. It was, you know, I mean, it, it took, you know, it wasn't hard. It, it was a fairly simple build. The worst part about it is I didn't really have a table saw to make some of the cuts. So when I use a knife, like I use my dad's table saw on some of these smoother cuts here. Um, but then some of the other cuts, like like over here, you can see, like I just cut this with a regular knife. So it got a little beat up. But like really what it comes down to is you're going to put this, uh, you're going to put the foam board caulking in there. And it's just going to fill up all them gaps and everything anyway. So... Uh, you know, and then you got to put, you, you do need to put a little bit of wood trim here to be able to put your hinges on and, uh, and your latch, you got some wood trim on there, caulked, caulked on. But yeah, I mean, this, this thing, it's actually working really good. Uh, I was a little bit skeptical, but now like this is my best performing incubator and I have, uh, I have a nurture right. 360 or whatever the heck it's called. I have, I have a Nurture Right 360, and then I have the little giant uh, Forced Air Styrofoam incubator. And this performs at least right. So in the early going, this performs better than better than those ones do. There's less variation in the temperature, and there's less uh, variation in the humidity. Uh, this has been working really well for me. So uh, maybe by seeing this video. That'll make you motivated to, to think that if you want to hatch some birds, this is this is a nice, easy build. Uh, and it's going to end up being cheaper than buying anything. And and then the honest answer is, like I said, it's been performing better for me. So, uh, so yeah. So, uh, thanks for watching the video. If this was interesting to you and you stuck around this long, you know, click the like button and subscribe. And uh, I'm going to try to be better about posting more videos in the future. And I will uh, remember to come back with an update whenever these eggs hatch. And uh, I don't know, however many days that's going to be. So thanks a lot.